Hey guys, today we're gonna do part two of our shoulder exercises. These focus more on our scapular stabilization. Let's get started. So for the first exercise, we're gonna do horizontal abduction. So take your band and roll it in your hands until it's straight down at your side with light tension. Raise it straight up in front of you and pull apart, squeezing in the back. Nice, slow and controlled motion for a set of 10. If you notice it's too difficult at this tension, you can unroll it one time and it makes it just a little easier. So for this exercise, you're either gonna need light hand weights or you can use the band. This exercise is called scaption. So it's not straight out to the side or straight out in front of you, but halfway in between. And all you're gonna do is lower the weight and raise it just to shoulder height 10 times. Slow and controlled motion the whole time. For the next exercise, we're gonna do wall climbs, wall slides, and wall clocks. All you're gonna need is a blank wall and a band. You're gonna tie it in a loop, just like so. So place your band around your elbows. Face the wall about a foot and a half away and put your pinkies and your ring finger up against the wall about shoulder width apart. You're gonna slide slow and controlled up the wall and back down. This one you're gonna do about five times. The next way you do it is to climb up the wall. Same position, but you're gonna walk your way up the wall, just touching your pinky and ring finger. When you get to the end of your range of motion, just walk your way back down. You're gonna do this five times. The last one is a clock. So raise your arms up to about shoulder height, and I want you to go up to 12 o'clock, three o'clock, and five o'clock. Repeat this five times on each side. And as these get easier at your elbows, just bring it down and put it at your wrists. This next exercise is a wall push-up. All you'll need is a blank wall. When you start this exercise, get about a foot and a half to two feet away from the wall. Place your hands on the wall about shoulder width apart and slowly lower yourself into the wall. As this gets easier, add a rounded shoulder at the very end. And then as you progress this exercise, you can do it at your countertop, on a table, and then slowly to where you're doing it on the floor. For this next exercise, you're gonna need your band and you're gonna step on it with your foot. You're gonna start with it at your pocket height and you're gonna slowly come up and over and across your body. When you do this, make sure you rotate your thumb up and out and pretend like you're pulling a sword from your pocket and throwing it over your shoulder. Do a set of 10. For this next set of exercises, you're either gonna need an exercise ball or an ottoman at home. So for this first exercise, you're gonna make an eye with your body. So raise your arms straight up in front of you and raise your thumbs towards the ceiling. Squeezing in the back, 
slow and controlled motion for a set of 10. For the next one, you're gonna do a Y. Same concept, but this time, you're gonna come to about a 45 degree angle and raise your thumbs up towards the ceiling, squeezing in the back, making a Y with your body. For the next exercise, we're gonna make a T. So, straight out to the side, thumbs up towards the ceiling, squeeze in the back. Let's do a set of 10 of these too. So the last one we're gonna do is a W. So same position, palms towards the ceiling, making a W with your arms and squeezing in the back. And if you have any other questions or any other concerns, just let us know. We're here to help any way that we can.